Hi, this will be a short discussion on CSS Grid and Media Queries. And this will be a continuation of the last two videos that covered, um, you know, the basics of CSS Grid. Um, in the last video, we, um, you know, we started with, or the last two videos, we started with a, you know, a simple grid like this. And then we used a named grid, and we set the columns and rows to place elements on the grid. Um, and we use named areas. So for the next example, what I did is I, I copied this example, the previous one from the video there. And you can go back and look at that or you can try and recreate this on your own. Um, and so I, this third file right here is just, it's a copy of, of, of that last one, right? So I'm gonna start here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to rearrange these elements, um, you know, when the, when the screen gets narrow, right? So that they're laid out. So maybe, maybe this one right here will move up to the top Maybe this thing will come down to the second row. This will go all the way across. The sidebar will go above main, and main will go the full width, right? So how are we going to do that? Well, so far we've got container here, and all we really need to do is define a media query. So we're going to say at media um, screen and um, max width of... We'll just make a simple one. We'll say like 400 pixels, right? And uh, then we'll say, uh, how about um, grid? Actually, you know what? Let's just take a shortcut here. We'll just copy this one, right? And we'll say template areas, right? So, so when, actually, you know what I need is I need this thing too. Let's borrow that. And... There we go, right? So when the screen is, you know, maximum width of 400, um, then the container will define the grid template areas differently than, than it does here, right? So we'll kind of overwrite this one with the new definition. And so maybe what we'll do is we'll have the header go all the way across, and then we'll have the sidebar um, maybe split the area with the login. So sidebar and... Uh, Maybe, maybe the sidebar will just be one, and then the login will be two of these, right? Like before, it was just one, right? So we'll, we'll do two areas here, so it'll be like in this spot. And then main will take up the whole space, and then the footer will still just go all the way across the bottom, right? So we'll save that, and then we'll take a quick look here. And then as I get down to about 400, you can see that the page changes, and I've got header, sidebar, login, and main, right? And um, I didn't define, or I didn't change the definition for, um, for the template rows, and we could change that also, right? So maybe this is fine, you know, 50 for the top row, 100 for the next row, and or the hundred for the next two rows, and then fifty for the bottom row. So maybe here, um, this is. Uh, let me actually move this over a little bit there, so it reads better. So we've got you know one, two, three, four rows, but maybe you know this third row here needs to change. It needs to be taller. So maybe I'll borrow this definition for grid template rows, and I can put that in here. And we'll say that row number three needs to be like 200 pixels tall, right? So now, now this one would be 200. You know, and there's a lot more you can do with this, but this is just the general concept, right? So um, we can define uh, grid template areas. And then on a media query, right? So when the screen is, you know, in some configuration that we can define here, we can change the, the areas, right? and take the same elements here with the same names <clears throat> and plug them into different locations in our, our description of the grid here that we've kind of we've kind of blocked in, right? So anyway, I hope that's helpful to you. Um, yeah, and good luck with your projects.